What's poppin'? Welcome back to BRB Report. We are heading out to brunch at Cactus because their menu looked like what it looked like. Delicious. They have two waffles. I can't remember what else, but it all looks so good. Yeah, they have uh, these very like extravagant yummy meals. And since we already tried it for dinner and we realized that it was so good, we're expecting the brunch to be nonetheless that yummy. We woke up early, got our workout in, um, tried to get up earlier so we wouldn't get there so late because we usually end up getting out the door on Sunday, Saturdays, I mean, super late. So we're also gonna go to Seattle later today to go to the beachfront where you can see the Space Needle across the water. So we are so excited. Uh, join us on our fun adventure. We got our drinks. We got a strawberry tamarind lemonade, so that sounds really yummy. It's having like nice, a cold drink today. And we're sitting kind of near the door, which is open, and I'm just like really cold for some reason, so I got hot chocolate, which is a rarity because Bailey's always running hot. So, switch today. So this is the churro waffles. It came with bacon, we didn't know. It looks so good. It smells so good. And I got a chorizo and egg scramble because as you know, we like to get one savory and one sweet and split it because that's just how we roll. It looks amazing. So highly recommend if you're ever in Bellevue, come cactus for brunch. The king's crate and barrel because we kind of need more plates. Yeah, since we all we only have like a set of four big and four little, sometimes we use them up throughout the day, especially now that we're trying to make more healthier lunches and we are like no plates. So we want to get some cute ones that kind of match the current set that we have. This is my first time at a crate and barrel. It's very pleasant. forever because I told Bailey if she wanted to buy one at the beginning when we first moved here because I was like it's so useful for when you cook and just wash dishes and she's like no I don't think we'll need one well guess what like now, what is it four months later like stained with oil she ruined a few shirts because they got stained and I was like what did I tell you about the apron so we're trying to get one look at this is how cute it is very cute so I think we're gonna take this guy trying to take some cute photos because the background is so nice like you have the city over there the space needle and that random ugly cargo ship <laughs> but it's like not our day today guys we we're not working it also there's been like really weird people who did randomly comment on our photos or what we're posing and it's kind of not comfortable <laughs> so we were like why are they doing this why are they, <laughs> why are they talking they should just not say anything <laughs> Let us be, you know? So anyway, we're just gonna try to take in the view and enjoy the peacefulness. Cause there's not a lot of people actually, so that's, it's really nice. Maybe we can just relax and enjoy it and not take that many photos. Just nature just wants us to be <laughs> absorbing it in. strawberry coconut and it looks so cute i destroyed mine because i stabbed it but hers that's how it's supposed to look <laughs> yeah. oh. no. <laughs> they're all dirty now <laughs> This 
is Tacos Chukis part three. We're gonna finally show you how it looks because we've never actually vlogged it because we're always so hungry whenever we come here. <laughs> but take a look at this quesadilla, guys. Ooh, with that guacamole salsa, asada. It's just so yummy. Look so these good. Tacos. And these are their specialty tacos. The Tacos Chukis. Eating in the car because their dining is closed. Yeah, all their locations have had no dine-ins. Yeah, we would have liked to sit there and eat, um, but you know, that wasn't the case. And also, we might be stuck here in front of some hooligan. Let me show you. They parked right in front of me with like an inch of space. First of all, they're parked on the wrong side of the street. Um, and I'm parked very close to the curb, so I can't really back up or else I'm going to scrape my wheel. So I was... Oh. Is it these people? They're leaving. Oh okay. my gosh. It's oh, wow. the it was this family. Okay. We're going to stop filming. Oh, well, at least they're leaving. Oh, uh, okay. They're leaving, so we can calm down. Yeah, but <laughs> these family literally parked in front of us. We were like, ah! They were at the restaurant. <laughs> they were at Tacos Chukis. <laughs> anyway, they're leaving, so we're okay gave him the look. You can see Mr. Wheelie is quite full. Then we need to go to the recycling and dump this out. And then we have the returns, remember from last week, which we did at the clothing haul. And we have a bunch of clothes that we're donating since we cleaned out. So we're gonna try to head and go do all those errands. And maybe do a little bit more shopping at Marshall, see if we find anything else and go grab dinner. So we're back at Marshall's. And I'm hoping they let me return all this because I can't find my receipt. <laughs> yeah, or like some store credit for her. I don't know what happened. I feel like they never actually gave her the receipt because it wasn't in the bag, it wasn't in the car, it wasn't in the house. So like, where did it go? Yeah. Or her purse. So we're like very unsure of where it is. But I have my receipt, so I'm gonna try to return <laughs> my things at least. <laughs> Part about Red Lobster, you know, is these cheese biscuits. Mm -hmm. They're exquisite. And we got the very yummy strawberry lemonade as well. And I'm gonna try lobster for the first time today, which I'm very excited about. The food is here. Look at this, guys. It's like monstrous amount of seafood. <laughs> we ordered the feast. The feast. It is a feast. video hope you liked it make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more vlogs and other content and remember we'll brp in the next video